two years, 24-7 for this one. Nope. This one, two years, 500 showers for this one. Nope. This one, 3,000 hours, 100 meters underground, in a salty environment for this one. Nope. This one. Two years of field activities, summer sports activities, winter sports activities for this one. Not in case. This one as well. With all that said, did you think that it collapsed? No, it didn't. It still works. It just has a small issue, but this can be fixed. Stay tuned. Sorry for my bad pronunciation, but my teeth are being recalibrated. Therefore, let's start and see what this watch has suffered in these two years. If you take a look on the display, we see definitely a lot of scratches and not only the glass is scratched, but also the bezel and the case. The illuminator has faded. The world time has faded. Under this glass, uh, all the markings are available. The battery was not replaced for sure. It is a 10 year battery and uh, my friend did not replace it. And uh, beneath this glass, uh, everything is perfect. If you take a look, on the pushers they work as in the first day so i cannot tell any word about the pushers if we turn around the watch and we look on the back case it might be that the writings mm, nope i wanted to say that the engraving is somehow faded due to friction in between uh, the hand but there is uh, nothing uh, worn. For sure we can see the dirt, the accumulated dirt um, and also the spring bars are corroded. The screws are not corroded, just this spring bar is corroded on this side. Uh, the other spring bar is not corroded. Then if we move to the strap I can tell that uh, this buckle was changed once uh, and this was done like uh, seven months ago. It still is in a good shape. The resin strap is scratched for sure and we can see here that it has broken from this area and if we take a look here it is also half broken as well on this area. I would say basically in the middle of the wrist if you section it it's the position where it has broken. I guess this is the most used area from the bracelet. I'm so curious how the rubber seal has protected the interior of this watch therefore we will compare it with my other AE which is uh, as old as this one except that it was not that worn as this one so my watch was worn occasionally or let's say it was my main watch but uh, I have um, replaced it occasionally with other watches but it was never worn under these harsh conditions as this one. Let me show you a small comparison at least for the case. Mine has so the the white one has a deeper scratch here but in rest the display it's not that scratched compared to the black one and also the markings from the case are not faded compared to the black one as well you know the say if it is not broken why fix it well i will do this for the sake of this video and also we will see how to replace the battery. I guess it would be a useful tip for all of you guys. Now that this watch has been released for more than 10 years, it might be watches that had the battery drained. Now the moment of truth, let's see how this watch has conserved itself of two years, a little more than two years. So this one and the other one. Hmm. Do you see any differences? Well, I can say that a lot of dirt the black one has, but this is only close to the rubber seal. So the dirt did not pass over the rubber seal. Mine is not that dirty, but 
the same principle applies here as well. Let's say that I am pretty satisfied with the interior of this watch. I would have expected to be more dirty, but it's not. Now let's see how to replace the battery. Um, I want to highlight that I have never done this process before, but it's somehow easy. We have the needle, we have this plastic clip, and we will insert the needle in between the gap from the plastic clip. And there is a metal bracket that is secured under the clip. We will just, let's say, pull a little out this bracket and the battery will uh, pop out here is the battery and the used battery is a cr 25 battery we see that the supplier is panasonic which is uh, the main supplier for the casio watches at least in the latest period in order to secure the battery after inserting it we need to press this plate until we hear that click Taking a look on the display, we can see that this watch kept its previous information. Therefore, it did not reset while I was uh, taking out the battery. Maybe this is because I took it for only a couple of seconds. In order to AC reset it, we need to, to use a tweezer. In some cases, a needle would be enough. But for this specific model, we need definitely a tweezer. This white sticker also let us know how to AC reset this watch. Therefore, with the help of this tweezer, we need to make a short circuit in between the minus and the plus. The plus of the watch is this plate that it is visible and the minus is a, a contact on the PCB. The access to that contact from the PCB is through this small hole which is identified with AC minus. Now let's try to AC reset it. Well, on my first at attempt I did not succeed because the hole is deep and the tweezer did not reach, but I will try again and yes, now it is AC reset. Now let's close this watch. Well, the first watch is uh, now closed and uh, we will not use it anymore. But for the second watch, so the black one, um, prior placing the back case, we will uh, just uh, clean it a little of this dust with um, a moisture tissue. And we will also clean this uh, gasket, basically the rubber seal. I will not get into much details uh, for the rubber seal because uh, I don't want uh, to damage it. Uh, the dirt is somehow sticked to it and I do not want to insist. It is also not that important. Let's put now the rubber seal, but we need to pay a little attention because this rubber seal has this rib here on this side and if we take a look on the channel for the seal, we can see this small dent which is correlated with the rib from the seal. Therefore, please pay attention to that. And now let's put the back case and tighten all the four screws. I have prepared the Casio strap. Not the original one, but still from a watch that comes from AE series. Dimensionally, it's the same, but in regards to the design, it is slightly changed. I will now remove the old strap, but I have an issue with the corroded spring bar. I will just use a plier to cut down the spring bar and replace the strap. We can see that the new strap suits very well on this watch as well. The next step is to polish a little the display because it has a lot of scratches and uh, maybe we can revive it a little. I will use the poly watch as we are used in order to clean up a little the display. Therefore, I will use it like two times and um, with this napkin, I will uh, polish it into the clockwise direction for a couple of seconds or maybe minutes, depending on uh, 
how deep are the scratches. I will also insist on the side of the case and uh, if you remember there is the wall time um, feature written down and also the illuminator feature written on the top and bottom of the case and that will be completely removed. Now I have uh, finished polishing it and it looks pretty well for sure it has the deeper scratches this you will never be able to remove them but again it is good it is visible and uh, I think uh, I have done the job pretty well now let's keep a final spark to this watch with this moisture napkin while doing this I will also try to conclude first the strap retainer has failed after one and a half years after another half year the strap has broken into pieces. Taking in consideration the aggressive wear of this watch, I could say that it is pretty good. The strap lasts very well. The display and the case is used and this is normal to be like that. It is because the friction, the daily friction in between the cloth and the watch, I see no other outcome for this. The dirt from the back is also normal. The corroded spring bar, well, the guy works in a salt mine. What do you expect? The question is why the other spring bar is intact. If some of you have any doubt that this watch is not a beater, then my presentation was made in vain. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day and see you next week.